Hi again, thanks for coming back. Uh, Galatians chapter 2 is where we're reflecting at the moment and uh, um, we're, we're up to verse 3 and, and this kind of feels a little bit out of kilter with what we've just been looking at, thinking about over the last couple of days. So Paul is setting off on a missionary journey with Barnabas, with Titus. He's checked with others the, the, the value or the validity of his message and his vision. And now in, in verse 3, he, he kind of changes tack a little when he says this, Yet not even Titus, who was with me, was compelled to be circumcised, even though he was a Greek. This matter arose because some false believers had infiltrated our ranks to spy on the freedom we have in Christ Jesus and to make us slaves. So what's going on here? Well, in verse 2, we've we've read about the, the gospel that Paul feels ready to preach among the Gentiles, the non Jewish believers. And Uh, What is not, what becomes clear, is not part of that gospel, that good news message, is that those Gentiles need to uh, conform to, comply with the kind of legalism that uh, the, um, in our terms, Old Testament Jewish believers went through, circumcision. And uh, Paul is checking this out with his brothers and sisters, with other um, leading Um, with other esteemed leaders of the group and not even Titus who is there uh, as a Greek as a as a non-Jew felt compelled to be um, circumcised but clearly there are some people verse 4 is reflecting on the fact that there are some muttering voices and every church leader in every generation gets those there are some muttering voices who are saying yeah I'm not sure surely uh, this they, they must do this and they must do that and we have to go through the kind of uh, legalistic rigmarole to, to be sure that they're true Paul is is countering that Paul is a Jew Paul is a good Jew Paul has has gone through throughout his life he's gone through all the uh, kind of legalistic necessities to be a good Jewish leader but he knows he's sensed from God that he doesn't that the, the, these these um, practices are things that are, are not necessary for those who come to God through Jesus later on in life what's my reflection well we need to listen to the the Holy Spirit of God we need to listen to to good uh, biblical leaders Um, we need to to be very careful about those who infiltrate our ranks to spy on the freedom we have Uh, there are many people with a false gospel there are many people around us with a false message we need to constantly be checking their messages against scripture I've said this in these reflections before time and again but it's important and it's very necessary Uh, so however you feel God is leading you to um, serve him to follow him let us check that against the authority of God's word let's um, be asking one another around the body those esteemed leaders among us and let's be clear that we're following the gospel of Jesus Christ not the tweaked gospel that some man Uh, is presenting alongside it and let's pray let's do that now father thank you for guiding us and leading us in so many different ways in so many different directions for so many blessings please help us to know your way and to follow your truth amen god bless take care